All right, it says that we're live. I'm just gonna check the stream. Should be. All right. Say something, bro. Tell him on you. How will buy some other shot? Say something, bro. Tell him on you. All right, cool, bro, bro. All right, show along. It's a brother from the GMS North Carolina, GMS Raleigh, back with Lord's willing edifying lesson. Before we go any further, and all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. By Shem. By Shem. Yahweh Shai. By Shem. By Shem. For Karkwadash. Karkwadash. The Bible the Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone are teaching us the Lord of Saint Truth, according to the Bible, well, in peace and blessing, so if like the nation of Israel, take the spirit and power of Yah by Shai. We will go into the Lord's willing edifying lesson, uh, titled The Heathen Are Not for Our Help. And who's that hour that we're talking about? We're talking about the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, who are the biblical Hebrew Israelites. You know, here it is, we've been in captivity, you know. Going on 500 plus years, you know, in Esau Edom, who is not to be trusted, you know, which is the biblical, the biblical Edomites there are the powers that be, the ones who rule the earth, the so-called white man, the red man of the earth. You see, these other nations, they are, you know, they're not for us. They're, they're not our, they're not our friends, you see. We, can you get Psalms 83? We'll start, we'll start with that. We'll start on Psalm 83. Um... You start at the top. All right. You know. This is Psalms, chapter 83, verse 1. Keep not thy silent, O Yahweh Bashim Awashah. And hold not thy peace. And be not still, O Yahweh Bashim Awashah. That's right. And that's what we ask in Yahweh Bashim Awashah to do. Keep not silence, you know. To, to, to make moves in the earth, to, to make the earth, to, to show forth his judgments in the earth and not let the heathens prevail against us, you know, because they they, uh, they plotted this diabolical plan to cut, off, cut us off from being the nation. You see? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Verse 2. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. That's right. So our enemies, they have come together in one consent. You see, uh, you know, and, and 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 those that hate us have lifted up the head. Esau, Edom, these heathens, you know, because they're they're beneath us, and they have lifted up their heads, you know, against us, being very proud, being very lofty, you know, because what they have been able to put us into captivity, and why are we in captivity? Because of our sins, really. Because it's biblical prophecy, you know, that there will become a falling away for us and that we would discontinue from our heritage, you know. I got this uh, word tumult in the blue leather. It says, it's, strong, it's uh, Strong's H, uh, 1993. It says, to murmur, to growl, roar, to cry aloud, to rage, to make noise, you know, so to disquiet. You know, so they have come, you know, to, to, to murmur, to make a plans, you know, against, you know, uh, the children of Israel. You see, read verse 2 again, bro. Mm -hmm. Psalms chapter 83, verse 2. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. That's right. So our enemies, you know, the, the heathens, you know, those whom Yahweh by Shema Shai has a, a likened to be nothing have lifted up the head they've been they've dealt very proud you know against the the lord's anointed his, his chosen people you see and, and they've done all these things to keep us down you know to keep us in the, uh the state of perpetual sin you see by uh feeding us uh lies promoting uh you know adultery promoting uh gmo foods which are full of abominations you know, all these things, you know, like it tells you in uh, Psalms, the second chapter, to cast away our cords from us, you know, to cut, off, to cut off that connection between us and the Heavenly Father. But now, through Yahweh's sacrifice, you know, we have our way back. 
you see Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, uh, the Heavenly Father sent His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, to be that that right and acceptable sacrifice unto us for us for on our behalf. You see, you got it. Verse three. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. And what's the crafty counsel? That what the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are not bespicked, wetbacks, a bunch of criminals, you know, that they're the scum of the earth. You see that they're, you know, and this is all part of the curse. You know, that will fall us, you know, because of our disobedience. So what? If we understand the, the origins of the, the problem, the problem is, is our iniquity. In order to Yahweh by Shema Shai. So we have to get back on the good graces of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know? Go ahead. Verse 4. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance yeah that the name of israel may no be no more remembrance that was their plan you know the whole time you know but yahweh by shema shai he has other plans you know those other plans is for what the elect to wake up you know for the elect to, to come back you know through all adversity you know throughout all you know you know uh, uh, you know, plans of men, you know, to keep us down. Yahweh Shema Shai will preserve a remnant to wake up, you know, to what the truth is. And in, in, in the last days, Isaiah ten twenty, they will lean upon Yahweh Shema Shai for help. You see, it says verse five. For they have consulted together with one consent; they are confederate against thee. Con, uh, yep, yep, that was it on that. Um, can you get the Isaiah 10 Mm-hmm. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 10, verse 20. And it should come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel in such are as our escape of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, Yahweh Shema Washai, the Holy One of Israel in truth. And that's what it's all about, the remnant returning. You know, no more leaning upon and trusting in, you know, the heathens for help, you know, for the poor, you know, for them, you know, to be, you know, to help us. You know, really, the heathens have longed for this. The heathens have been waiting for us to come out of power. You know, that's just what they've wanted all along. You see, Yahweh Shema Shai has preserved a remnant. You see, and you know, this is who, this is who we make these uh, message for. You know, part of the hopeful elect, those who want to get out of here, those that want to, uh, you know, to to inherit everlasting life. You see, let's get um, let's get the first scripture. Um, let's get uh, Isaiah 42 and um, verse 22. Mm -hmm. can, uh, this is kind of get to yep. Time. This is Isaiah chapter 42, verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Mm -hmm. So Israel is robbed and spoiled. Where are they spoiled now? Ultimately, you know, they're robbed and spoiled in their minds because their, their whole lives, they've been taught that they've been taught lies, you know, told them that, you know, glorifying uh, nigger, uh, black culture, you know, you, sh you should you should glorify that, that that's your culture, this is your heritage, you see, and, and them believing in the lie that Esau Edom has gave them, you know, they get robbed and spoiled. They don't know who they are. You know, they don't know what's good for them. Go ahead. It says, but this is the people robbed and spoiled. They are all, they are all of them snared in holes. And they are hid in prison houses. Yep. So they're hidden holes. You know, they're snared in their minds. You know, they're, they're trapped. They're trapped up. Esau, Edom, Esau, Edom has laid a snare for these, uh, uh, you know, for Jake, and he, they fall into it, and, and they're, they're, they're trapped up. Go ahead. 
It says, and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey, and none deliver the so like it, and none delivereth for a spoil, and none say and none saith restore. There it is. <laughs> You know, these heathens, you know, they're saying oh, we need to restore these people. You see what happened, the atrocities that happened to these people. You know, we never, you know, we didn't make sure, you know, it's, it's systematic. It's all part of the trap. You know, they have this thing called systematic, you know, you know, you know, racism. You, you see what I mean? Uh, even my supremacy, you see, that's what ultimately is, you know, and, and that's what it is. The heathens have never set store, you know. So so why so why should we cry out to them for help? You know we should be crying unto Yah by Shema Shai. You know the whole time these heathens have seen us in these little afflictions. I got a quick precept. This is Psalms eighty one and verse thirteen. Oh that my people have hearkened unto me and Israel have walked in my ways. I should soon have subdued their enemies and turn my hand against their adversaries. So if we were to hearken unto Yahweh, he would have been for us. He would have stood up against our enemies. Their plans, which they had devised against us, wouldn't have worked. You see, the haters of the Lord sh should have soon submitted themselves unto him, but their time should have do endured forever. You know, but what? According to biblical prophecies, Biblical, biblical prophecy, there had to be a falling away first, you know. But this is what we're going to come back. This is what we're coming back into. Yahweh Shema Shai is about to subdue our enemies. He's about to take our enemies out of the way, you know, for us, you know, for and for his holy name's sake. You know, we can't forget that. Yahweh Shema Shai is about to do this for his holy name's sake. You see? You got a rookie for the show? Yep, verse 24. Verse 23, whom among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Mm -hmm. Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord, Yahweh, against whom we have sinned? That's right. So there it is. Why did these things happen to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? You know, because we sinned against the Lord. You know, real quick, this is um Second Second Maccabees seven and thirty-two. It says um, let me make sure I got this right. Uh, Second Maccabees chapter uh seven, verse thirty-two. It says. And though the living God be angry with us a little while for our chastising and correction, yet he shall be at one again with his servants. You know, we see that happening now. You know, the, we're, we're becoming one again with our power, being allies with Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, thinking, you know, according to the ways that the Lord wants us to think. You know, he corrected us, you know, he chastised us. You know, for, for a little moment, you know, now you see these small sanctuaries, you know, coming out, you know, these small, you know, the Lord said, you know, he would deal with us in small sanctuaries, you know, and these are uh, those camps that are waking up. The believers are waking up again and they're turning on, they're turning on to the Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, we're not trusting in, you know, Esau, Edom, for the heathens for our help anymore. Um... I got another one. This is Isaiah 63 and 17, because we got to understand that the Lord is in control. It says, O oh Lord, why hast thou made us to err from thy ways and harden our heart from thy fear? Return for thy servant state the tribes of thine inheritance. So this is what we're asking Yahweh Shema Shai to do, to return us, you know, to, to correct us, you know, to put a, a, a willing mind to serve him again. You know, so that the heathens uh, can't have rule over us uh, any longer. You know, because when we sin against our power, let me get that. It's a Judah chapter 5, verse 17. And whence they sinned against, 
and whence they sin before their God, they pro and whence they sin not before their God, they prosper, because the God of iniquity was with them. And this is why the heathens have been able to to triumph over us. You know, you know, to have this small uh, time of victory is because we sinned against Yahweh Shema Shabbos. It's all part of the story. You know, this is why we do these lessons. You know, to wake up, to repent, to turn back. You know, yeah, the Lord you know, divorced us. You know, now we, we're being reconciled back through the blood of the Lamb. You see, in the tells you in Revelation that that bride made herself ready. We have to make ourselves ready. For, we have to get in the right mindset to serve Yah by Shema Shai. You know, and that's found, the, the instructions on how to do that is found here in the scriptures. It says, but when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many and many sore battles, in many battles very sore, and were led captive into a land that was not theirs, and their in the temple of their God was cast to the ground, and the cities were taken by the enemies. But now they return to their God and are come up from the places which where they were scattered and possess Jerusalem where their sanctuary is, and or seated in the hill country, for it was desolate. Now, therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error in this people, and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin, and let us go up, and we, and we shall overcome them. And that's what the heathens have been allowed to. They have been allowed to overcome us. You see, because of our disobedience. Let's keep breathing. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by. Least their Lord defend them, and their God be for them, and we become a reproach for all the world. You know, that's what, you know, the elect are doing. The elect are returning on to Yahweh Shema and trusting in him. And the Lord is about to make Esau eat him a reproach before all the world when he comes and takes this devil out of power. And you heathen, according to Revelation 19, 19th chapter, Revelation 6, you know, he's going to come and take the crowns, you know, out of you people's hand, out of you people's uh, power. You know, you ain't going to have no power. You know, the Lord's coming back for his elect, you know. Jacob, uh, Jacob's help. Is is the Lord, you know? That's our only help. Yah by Shema Shai, and the the remnant is acknowledging these things, you know. And we're gonna get a couple more scriptures going into that. How the heathens were never for us. Can I please you want, back you up? Yeah, you got it, bro. Come on, come on. This is the Book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight. <laughs> we're starting at forty-nine. The Lord Yah by Shema Shai shall bring a nation against thee from far. From the end of the from the end of earth, as swift as the eagle flieth, a nation whose tongue thou should not understand. This is the, this is the point, verse fifty: a nation of fierce continents will should not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. You got it, bro. That's right, and that's exactly what happened when this so-called white man, you know, came over to a. Uh, to the uh to the other side of the world where the um, southern kingdom was dwelling there, mainly Judah Benjamin Levi, what did he do? He came and conquered us. You see? And what happened? When he came and conquered us and brought us over here to this side of the world to America, he did exactly what the scripture said. He didn't show no mercy to the old or to the young. Still to this day, he's putting hell on the the old men, the old women of our nation, putting hell on the young kids, not letting up. Showing that these heathen nations was not never for us, you see, and it's and the reason why these heathen nations are not for us is because ultimately we sinned against the Lord, as the brother Isaiah had me to read. We messed up, so now we, that's why we had these heathen nations ruling over us in wickedness. Gone, gone, yep. Um, that was it in Isaiah forty-two. Mm -hmm. Gone. You can get that Lamentations uh, one and twenty-one. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 1, verse 21. 
They have heard that I sighed. There is none to comfort me. All my enemies have heard of my trouble. They are glad that thou hast done it. That will right. bring. I'm sorry. So yeah, the enemies of God by Shema and Shah, they're glad that these things have been done to you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We're reading right here. They they know they know you uh Jakes are in poverty, you know. They know that you're uh, you know at the bottom. They know these things, but they're happy that you're there, you know, because they, they're able to set up their, their markets, you know, and make a killing off of you. You know, Esau is having you build up his kingdom. Of course, he's happy that you're still in, in their cap in their in their hands. You know, scripture say I was uh, I was a little displeased with the heathen. I, okay, this is uh, Zephaniah. I think it's that uh, uh, Zechariah, actually. Zechariah chapter one, uh, verse fifteen. And I am very sore displeased with heathen that are east. For I was but a little displeased, but they helped for the affliction. They forward the affliction. You know, they didn't help. I mean, they didn't do anything for us. You know, what did they really do? And that's why you got the parable of the rich man and the Lazar and Lazarus. You see? Well, you know, it's gonna be a trading of places very soon. You got it, bro. Mm -hmm. Back in Limitations, shut the one, verse twenty-one. They have heard that I sighed. There is none to comfort me. All my enemies have heard of my trouble. They are glad that thou hast done it. That will bring the day that thou hast called. And they shall be like unto me. Yeah, you see? You know, the day that Yahweh Bashimah is, the day that Yahweh Bashimah is called, is Deuteronomy 30 and 7, the Lord's going to send these curses, you know, upon our enemies. You know? Upon them that hate us, that persecute us. You see, Yahweh by Shema is about to bring all these things He's done to us upon you heathen. You're gonna get double for it. You see, this is gonna be a judgment for you heathens. You know, and we as Israelites have to have to see and know that you know these these nations are not for us. You know, they're happy that the Lord's done these things on to us. They want the, they want us to continue the sin. It wants to continue to uh, be, you know, niggas sagging their pants in the hood. Really, they, they want you uh, with, with, a, uh, with a CHIP in your arm, you know, in your right hand or, you know, or your forehead. That's what they want. You know, they want that karagma inside of you so you can so they brand you as cattle. You know, you got it. Mm -hmm. Verse 22, let all their wickedness come before thee and do unto them as thou hast done unto me for all my transgressions. For my sighs are many, and my heart is faint. That's why, and that's what we're asking Yahweh Shema Shah to do, to do unto them as how he has done unto us, you know, and for our disobedience. And this is why, you know, we're trying to get right. So why we're trying to do better, you know? And, and this is why we're, uh, real quick, this is, um, it's so, uh, Jeremiah chapter 10, uh, verse 1. And it reads, Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the ways of the heathen, and be not at the signs of he heaven, for the heathen are this made at them. And where are some of the ways of the heathen? You know? You know, <laughs> abortion, you know what I mean? You know, this whole transgender movement, you know, to be being a mo, you know, eating all type of bomb foods, you know, these things are all the ways of the heathens that we shouldn't be learning, that we shouldn't be following after. You see? Um that was it on that, bro. Mm -hmm. You want that limitation? Uh, Yep, Lamentations 4. This is Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that cannot save us. 
Yeah, that's right. So, as for us, our eyes has yet failed, you know? Nick is always hoping that Esau Edom is going to have their back, you know? And Esau Edom always fails them, always lets them down. Read again, now. Mm -hmm. Limitations chapter 4, verse 17. And for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. Yeah, and then, Esau Edom. I'm sorry, brother. Esau Edom, um, their their hope is vain. <laughs> you know, like it tells you in um Isaiah 30, right? Let me get that real quick. You know, this Isaiah chapter 30, verse 7, for the Egyptians shall hope in vain and to no purpose. Therefore have I current have I cried concerning this. Their strength is to sit still. You see, so the heathens, you know, you know, the Egyptians, you know, Esau, Edom, his power structure, you know, they're, they're hoping in vain, you know, the, the things that they're putting forth in the earth, you know, they're, they act as they're for us, you know, but, but really they're not for us. They're not for our part, you know? You got it. Can you read it again? Yep. Limitation set to four. Verse 17, as for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. And in our watching, we are watched for a nation that could not save us. That's right. So we're, we've been watching, you know, we've been looking, you know, for Esau Edom for help this whole time. <laughs> he can't save us. Esau Edom, he ain't got the power to uh, to deliver us, you know, to help us out. Only Yahweh by Shema Shai is able to do that, you know. Really, like I told you in Proverbs 16, for the Lord hath made all things for himself, even the wicked for the day of evil. So Esau Edom has been made in these last days to promote a world of sin, to have you Jakes be snared and trapped, and for the Lord to let him loose on you uh wicked Jakes. You see? But um can you can you get the limitations two and fifteen? Mm-hmm. This is limitations to the two. Verse 15. All that that's the spirit I was just looking for that's precept. I was on. Yeah. Limitations chapter 2, verse 15. All that pass by clap their hands at thee. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem. How, how, you, know, how you gonna wag your head head and clap your hands? You know? <laughs> you know, you're showing the uh you know disgust, disgust and disdain, but yet the, the, where you're discussing that and this thing, you're celebrating. You know, you're happy that Israel is in this thing. You're happy that Israel is doing these things. You know? Read it again, Mm-hmm. Limitations chapter 2, verse 15. All that pass by clap their hands at thee. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem. Yeah, the daughter of Jerusalem, the so-called Negroes, like the, the nation of Israel, you know, the, 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 the nation that's supposed to be the top nation on the earth, you know, it, you know, what, what nation is so blessed to have Yahweh by Shema Shai so not of them, you know, via our, the law, statutes, and commandments that the Lord has given us to, 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 to shine above all these nations. You know, to show ourselves to be uh, superior at the end of the day. You see, his chosen people. But these heathens, you know, they're talking, you know, they talking smack. <laughs> they're scoffing, you know, that, you know, and they're happy. You go ahead. And, and this whole time, they never told us that we're the Israelites. You know, you guys got to repent. You know, you got, you guys got, you got, you got to seek your power. You see, go ahead. Mm hmm. Saying, is this the city? That men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth. Yeah, is this the is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty? Because we're supposed to be that society that everyone models their society after. You know, oh, this this is a wise nation. We gotta go. We gotta go there for wisdom. We gotta go there for hope. You know, we got understanding from them. You see, is, is this the city? Because you know, you go ahead. Verse sixteen. All thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee. Yeah, all of our enemies, not some of, not some of them, all of them have opened their mouths against us, you know, speaking very proud things, you know, coming up, you know, with, uh, you know, who's, you know, really 
coming up with these plans, these these wicked devices, you know, to come up against us. I got to praise up real quick. This is um this is Psalms chapter sixty two verse four. It says, "They only consult to cast him down from his excellency." You see, so the heathens are only consulting, you know, along with you know the elites in these times. But they only consulted to cast us down from our excellencies, you know. And what's our excellency? Knowing Yahweh by Shema following His way. You see, what makes us superior from these other nations? They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth. But they curse inwardly. So these nations, you know, they, they put a good show. Oh, we, we, you know, we got to go out there and protest with them. You know, BLM. You know, we got to show them. But inwardly, you know, it, it's, it's all a plan. It's all, it's all a ploy. You know, these, these devils, their heart is deep. You know, and they've come up with this master plan to keep us down. But Yahweh by Shema Shai has showed mercy upon us in these last days by giving us this word back. You see? You got it. Mm -hmm. Limitations chapter 2 verse 16 All thy enemies Have opened their mouth Against thee mm. They hiss And gnash their, the teeth yep. They say so they, yep, you got it. I'm sorry They, they hiss and gnash, gnash their teeth You know they're using their, the power That they have you know, To keep us down You know to To, 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 uh, to devour us You know I can't remember scripture that is but you know they're they're basically taking off, you know, like those you in uh, Ezekiel thirty-seven, you know, that flesh, and you know, it's coming back from those bones, and we're starting to live, you know. Where they trying to they're trying to uh, gnash us, but these are trying to take off, you know, that flesh. They're trying to take off, you know, who we are by 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 pushing lies, you know, by oppressing us, keeping us down. You see, you got it. Yep, they say. We have swallowed. We have swallowed her up. They have consumed us. You know, <laughs> the heathens have consumed the nation of Israel. You know, that's what they're saying. They have devoured us. They've swallowed us up. <laughs> you know, you got it. Certainly, this is the day that we look for. Certainly, truly, this is the day that the heathens look for. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. The day that they look for is is to see your nakedness, you know, for you to be a down out, for you to be a no people, <laughs> you know what I mean, for you to be finished out here. This is the day that the heathen look for, but yet you're still looking for them for help, you know, you're still looking for uh, the heathens to help you out, but it, it but, you know, it's not going to happen. You see, you got to keep down verse seventeen. It says, we have found, we have seen it. The Lord, Yahweh Shai, have done that which he had devised. He had fulfilled his word that he had commanded in the days of old. He have thrown down and have not pitied. And have caused thy enemy to rejoice over thee. He have yeah. set up. Now you got to finish it out. Mm -hmm. He have set up the horn of thy adversaries. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> so Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, brought this, brought these things upon us. The Lord did. Can you get uh, Jeremiah uh, 3 and 23? Yahweh Shema Shai is, is the one who brought these things upon us. You know, <laughs> he, you know this. This is all according to His word. You know, you read in Deuteronomy the curses that will befall the nation of Israel because of their disobedience. <clears throat> but um, let me read that Lamentation two and seventeen. It's like it. Uh, it says, "The Lord have done it. That which He have done, that that He." That which he hath devised, he hath fulfilled his word that he hath con commanded in the days of old. He hath thrown down, he thrown down the nation of Israel and have not pitied. He hath caused thine enemies to rejoice over, over thee. So the enemies, you know, they have, 
rejoiced over us because of our disobedience. It says, He has set up the horn of thine enemy. So that, that the horn of our enemies, you know, Esau, Edom, you know, these other nations, you know, having a piece of the pie as well, them licking the sores, you see, have 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 this small period of time to, to rejoice over us. You know, because of our disobedience. So if we understand that the Lord brought these things upon us, then we have to understand He's the only one that can get us out of the situation. I got one more up. Mm -hmm. Psalm seventy five and um verse four I said unto the fools, deal not foolishly. <laughs> you know, Israel shouldn't be dealing foolishly, and but we did. And to the wicked lift not up the horn. And that's what Esau, Edom has done. He's lifted up his horn. You know, his power, he's lifted up against us, you know, in our lowest state. Lift not up the horn on high. Speak not with a stiff neck. And that's what Esau, Edom has done. He's, he's, he, he believes through his power and his might he's done these things. You know, verse 6, for promotion, being promoted, you know, to the state of being governor of the earth, right? For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But Yahweh is the judge. He put down one and set up, up another. So Yahweh by Shimon Shai, he's the judge of the earth. You know, he's allowed you nations for this very small time, you know, to rule the nation, uh, the, the, to, to rule over the nation of Israel, you know, and, and to, to, to be a whipping stick onto us, you know. To, uh, to, 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 to be lords over us while we while we play out our punishment. But the time is coming where Yahweh Shema Hashem is going to have mercy and, 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 and yet choose Israel. Um, real quick, this is Isaiah 10 and 5. O Assyrian, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is my indignation. The mind of the Assyrian is you Edomites. You know, you're the rod of the heavenly Father's anger. You know the staff, the power you have in your hand. You know to correct. You know the nation of Israel is the heavenly Father's indignation. You see, it says, "I will send him against a hypocritical nation," which the hypocritical nation is, is Israel, which was acting. You know, which is faking the funk when they came to serving Yahweh by Shema Shai. You see, and against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge. <laughs> So Esau has been given charge over us, you know. <laughs> He's been given a commandment from the Heavenly Father to jack the nation of Israel up. <laughs> you see, it says, And I will give him a charge to take the spoil and to, and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the street. You see. But Yahweh, so Yahweh Shemal Shah has given this man this power for this small amount of time, you see, but but things are changing, you know, the, the remnant is waking up, you know, and, and he's he's in straits right now trying to, uh, uh, you know, trying to keep the truth under wraps, you know, stop brothers from waking up, but the, the word of Yahweh Shemal Shah is having free force in the earth, you know, these things are all done through the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, you see, you got it, bro. I got a more precept, you don't mind? Yeah, you got it. This is Psalms chapter 10, verse 11. He hath said in his heart, Yahweh Shai hath forgotten. He hath his face, he will never see it. Yeah, bro. That's right. And this is the spirit that this devil eater, so called white man, comes in. And not just this devil eater, so called white man, but also these other heathen nations. They're thinking that Yahweh Bashim was shot about the Bible has forgotten about the children of Israel. You see, these heathens, they think that Yahweh Bashim al has not seen anything that they're doing unto us. You see, they think Yahweh Bashim al has not seen on how they're oppressing us, on how they're mistreating us. But what these heathens fail to realize is the Lord has seen everything by the way of the angels. You see, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al has the angels running to and from the earth taking the reports back up to Yahweh Bashim al saying, this is going on, this is going on. You see, these heathens are not lighting up. That's right, that's right. If you don't mind, um, there's two more verses, I was on, and you got it bad, if you don't mind. Yeah, bro, you can read it down. Verse 12, 
arise, O Lord God, Yahweh lift up thy hand. Forget not the humble. That's right. So while these heathens are oppressing us, this is the spirit that the elect is coming in. We're telling Yahweh to arise, you know, visit these heathens, man. Judge them. Take them all out of power. And as you're doing this, don't forget about the humble. Don't forget about the sincere, the sincere believers, the elect down here, Lord willing for that number, who's actually trying to serve you in truth and sincerity. Don't forget about it. Verse 13. Wherefore, do the wicked contend, Yahweh Shemosha, he has said in his heart, thou will not require. So again, that's the spirit first and foremost, because E, the so-called white man, is the wicked according to the Bible. But all these heathen nations, they're just like this devil. They don't think the Yahweh Shemosha is going to require anything that they have done unto us, or how they mistreated us, or how they oppressed us. But the Lord is going to require. He's going to require everything that you heathens have done unto, his, unto the apple of his eye, which is the nation of Israel. That's right. You got any more, bro? That's it. Yeah, uh, well, Aaron Priest is backing up. This is Psalms 50, verse 21. These things have, has thou done, and I kept silence. Then we saw off the lesson, Arise, O Lord, keep not silence, right? So Esau Edom has been able to do these things, and the Lord kept silence. But now, you know, the spirit of life has entered, you know, upon, you know, uh, the, the souls of the elect, right? And they're standing upon their feet, and they're crying out to Yahweh by Shema for help. Thou, thou thoughtest that I was all together such as one as thyself. You know, Esau Edom thought the Heavenly Father was on the same, uh, uh, you know, mind that he was in. You know, oh, the Lord's happy, you know, that I'm doing these things. We're, we're one accord. <laughs> I'm gonna get my blessing. I'm gonna get the birthright back. <laughs> <laughs> it says, "Thou thoughtest that I was all together such as one as thyself, but I will reprove thee." So Esau him be reproved by the prophets, and set them in order before thine eyes. You know, and and Esau him, you know, is seeing, you know, the the, the elect. You know, being set in order right before his very eyes. You know, while he has, you know, while he's trying to hone in on domination, world domination, you know, brothers are waking up, acknowledging what the truth is, you know, acknowledging Yahweh Shema Shah to be their power. You see? So we're, we're waking up, we're, you know, Lord's one will be out here soon. Uh, we'll, we'll, get, we'll bring out like two more, then we'll close out. Mm hmm. Uh, we'll did we I'm sorry. Did we ever finish the Isaiah? Um, yeah, we finished Isaiah. Um, chapter 42. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was it. That was it. In Isaiah 42. Um, let me double check. I'm pretty sure we finished it, but you can get Jeremiah. I mean, I don't think we read it all. I'll read it real quick. You get Jeremiah 3 and 22, though. This Isaiah 42 and 24, who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord, he against we have sinned, have sinned? For we were, for, for they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient unto his law. You see, so Jacob wasn't obedient. And that's why these things have come upon us. You know, we're Jacob, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But now... We're, 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 now we got the, you know, we got it back. You know, we got we got another opportunity to be obedient, to serve y'all by Shema Shah with fear and trembling. You see? You got it. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 22. Return, ye backsliding children, and I will heal your backsliding. That's right. Return. You know, Jacob backslide. They went backwards. You, you know, he's supposed to be Walking towards the Lord and serving Him, but Jake went back because they turned their backs towards Yahweh Shemashai and ran in the opposite direction, following the ways of the heathens, these other gods. You know, read it again. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22 Return, ye backsliding children, and I will heal your backsliding. Yeah, and if we, if we return and repent. 
Yeah, but you know, shy, it, it is what? <laughs> He's going to heal you. You know, how are you going to be healed? Via the word, via the scriptures, via the truth. You know, by way of the apostle, that was a great mills from the men on down. You know, whom the Lord has set up. He set up them and their teachers before them. You see? You got it? Mm -hmm. It says. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. We're meaning to repent. You got it? Mm -hmm. Behold, we come unto thee, for thou art the Lord our power. Truly, in vain is salvation hope for from the hills. That's that's the point. That's the whole point of the whole lesson. You know, we, we, we are coming on to Yahweh, you know, the, the elect. Behold, we come on to thee. And we're acknowledging that the Lord is our power. And, and we, we're acknowledging that truly in vain is salvation hope for the hills. These, truly, these nations are not for us. You know, the, the, the heathens are not for our help. We understand this. You see, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Truly in vain is salvation hope for, hope for from the hills and from the multitude of the mountains. Yep, truly, all these governments, you know, truly in vain is salvation. You know, it's worthless thing that they're going to help us. They're not set up to help us. We read all these scriptures saying they happy that these things happen unto us. You know, this is the day they look for. You know, why would we, you know, why would we think that they're going to help us? You got it? Mm -hmm. Truly, in the Lord our power, Yahweh Shemoshai, is the salvation of Israel. That's right. Truly, in the name of Yahweh Shemoshai, you know, truly in Yahweh Shemoshai is the salvation of Israel, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, so the only way we're going to receive salvation is through the Lord, you see. And, and, you know, and that's, that is what it is. You know, the nations are not for us. So, you know, repent. You want to say anything else before we close out? That's it, bro. I think the point was made. Yeah, you know, repent. Turn back. You know, seek the Lord. You know, because he's the only way we're going to get out of this hellhole. You know, he's the one that put us in this predicament. He's the only one that gets out of it. You see? So with that, Lord's will you're edified. We're going to close out giving all praise and our glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashem. Yeah. Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Bahashem. Yeah. Rakar Kodash. Rakar Kodash. Uh, the Barnes, the Apostle knows the great millstone, we're teaching us the warm saying truth according to Barbell and peace and blessings, though, for like the nation of Israel. Next time we say, Shalom. Yeah.